hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new please consider subscribing and if you're not new thank you guys so much for coming back i know it's been a long time since i filmed a video i know this and i'm sorry there's really no excuse if you don't follow me on instagram you should it's always linked down below i post a lot more often there and then you would have known that like honestly i don't talk about my life too much here but between work and kids and this year i traveled a lot I've just been busy, but I missed you guys. And some of you did reach out to me on Instagram saying like, when are you going to come back? I miss you. And I love you for that. And I'm here. I'm so sorry. But today we're going to be talking about the fragrances that I'm most excited to wear for fall and winter. I waited too long, so I can't exactly call it like fall fragrances because where I live, honestly, fall is almost over, but I'm Canadian. So in Canada here, it's like winter territory now is freezing, but maybe where you live, it's still fall weather so I'm just gonna group them together and I'm gonna call them I'm gonna call it like the fall and winter fragrances that I'm looking forward to wearing so if you guys want to see my fall and winter favorites for this year then just keep on watching okay I'm gonna start with two that are like my easy reach fragrances these are fragrances that aren't too complicated they're pretty linear some would say basic but they're just like easy go-to's when I don't want to think about like what I'm doing where I'm going I just want to grab something and not worry about like it offending anyone but still smell delicious so first up this one should be no surprise this is Burberry Herb the elixir version the reason this should be no surprise is because the original Burberry Herb for a long time that was like my signature scent I say it like that because I wear a lot of fragrances, so I don't really have a signature scent, but I wore that so much that people associated Burberry Her with me when they smelled it. This is like the original. They have the same DNA. You could definitely smell the similarity, but this one is a lot sweeter. It's a lot denser. It's sweeter. It's denser. It's more lactonic. So the original was like a powder puff strawberry, but you got like the freshness of the strawberries. It was a little bit more airy this one is like a strawberry milkshake it's a lot more creamy it's a lot sweeter and denser so and this one does perform a little bit better than the original which is why i feel like it's a perfect like winter time version because it projects more and it lasts longer and that like strawberry milkshake vibe i'm here for it i love gourmands so if you're new here then maybe you don't know that i love gourmands and i love like warm and spicy scents next up for an easy reach this is billy eilish's number one it's the original eilish fragrance this one oh, it's like chocolate vanilla swirl swirl okay that's from orange is the new black if you didn't know this is like chocolate and vanilla swirled together it is deliciously creamy and decadent it's very basic it's very linear but if you like gourmands then i mean you would love this the only thing i will say is that I do wish it like projected a little more because on okay when you first spray it you get that alcohol <laughs> let that dry down but then you get like this beautiful like chocolate vanilla kind of ice cream goodness it smells sweet and delicious it's very easy like I said it's not too complicated but sometimes I don't need a complicated fragrance I just want to smell good and I like kind of creamy sweet scents gourmands I'm a sucker for them so when I just want to like grab something and go very easy, this is a very easy reach for me. I wish it performed a little better. I wish it projected a little more. That's the only thing I will say, but she is pretty affordable. So I can't complain too much. I know this bottle is very much like hit and miss. Some people hate it, but I personally love it. I don't know. I find it cute. So it usually sits over here because I like the bottle. So those are my two like just kind of easy reach basic, not too complicated when I don't want to think about it that's them the other ones that I'm going to talk about for fall and winter I definitely have a type I have a type all year I'm not going to lie to you like I said if you're new here I gravitate towards fall and winter scents year round I love kind of warm sweet spicy scents that sweet and spicy profile when a perfume is sweet and spicy ugh, it steals my whole heart I love them um so I have a type okay so a lot of these are going to be you're going to notice like a, a vibe because it's just me so Let's just get into it okay first up i'm going to talk about amberlicious this is by dua it's an extract to perfume this is so intoxicating and delicious if you like angel share i feel like you will like this amberlicious is boozy it's sweet it has a little bit of a fruitiness i'm getting like like a sweet apple like a boozy apple 
there's a little bit of smokiness and then you get this sweet resinous amber it is sticky it is sweet yet boozy intoxicating and this is so beastly it performs so well i know this one sells out sometimes i put myself on the wait list and i got it when it came back i love this like i said if you're someone who you like the vibe you like the scent profile of angel share then i feel like you will love this because it reminds me they're not the same but it reminds me of angel share which i also love in this video i'm trying not to repeat ones that i talk about all the time but like for those of you wondering yes i still love labelle yes i still am obsessed with angel share Ugh, like vanilla 28 by kaoli like i still love all of those but i don't want to keep talking about the same one so but those are still my babies too next up is changing constants by pen halligans the bottle of this first of all is stunning i got this at the end of last winter so i didn't get to use her too much but i'm obsessed with this this i feel like is a very safe blind buy i'm not gonna lie to you i really wanted it um because i'm a sucker for packaging and the bottle was like calling my name and out of all of the pet i really wanted a scent from pen halligans i should say and out, out of all of them i feel like the notes of this were calling to me this is a spicy caramel scent when it opens up it opens up more spicy but the longer it sits you get more of the caramel that will come out so don't let that spiciness scare you because the caramel does come out and the sweetness comes out the longer it sits on the skin but when you first spray it you get like this spiciness not like pepper but like an aromatic spiciness think like cardamom think like cinnamon that kind of stuff <laughs> So you get that spiciness, like a warm spiciness mixed with a sweet caramel. It's so good. The longer it sits on your skin, it dries down. Like at the end of the day, you're left with like a sweet caramel. The spiciness is in the background. But either way, I like a sweet and spicy scent. If you like a caramel scent and you like a little bit of spiciness, I feel like you will love this. This is a great wintertime and falltime fragrance. It's not too wintry and it's sweet. But it's not overly sweet because I feel like that spiciness kind of blends it out. It's delicious. This is a very safe blind buy in my opinion because I don't find it to be too much of anything. It's not too spicy. It's not too sweet. It's like a perfect balance. The bottle is gorgeous. Um, and I feel like if you like sweet scents, if you like caramel scents, I feel like you will like this. It's beautiful. Next up, this one is like brand brand new to my collection so i am really excited to wear it for this fall and winter my friend put me onto this anna thank you so much this is zerjoff's starlight i think that's how you say it zerjoff i'm not really sure but i literally just got this i just unboxed it the other day and she is oh, this is okay so most of the ones that i have are sweet and spicy this one is more so warm and spicy. It's like a warm hug. I feel like this is a perfect like sweater weather scent. The bottle is so pretty. This is my first Zerjoff fragrance. This has amber. This has cardamom. This has, let me look up what it has because I honestly forget. It has cardamom, cinnamon, almond, cloves, amber, and cedar. But when you smell this, you get like this warm, soft spiciness and like you get a little bit of a sweetness, but not too much sweetness. So that's why I would describe this as like warm and spicy, perfect for fall and winter, but it's not overly sweet. If you wanted to add more sweetness, you could easily spray a vanilla fragrance with this. But on me, this doesn't pull overly sweet, but I love that because it makes it a little bit different. Than everything I have this is honestly like a warm hug I love the spiciness in this it's not overly spicy I definitely have other fragrances that are more spicy than this that I'm going to talk about next but still it's it's like a warm hug I feel like this is perfect for like what I'm wearing right now for like sweater weather this is like a soft kind of sensual spicy warm scent it's beautiful it's feminine it's soft it's like I don't know how to describe it it's not overly sweet, but it's so pretty. I love this. I blind bought this and I'm really glad I did because in my opinion, this is a safe blind buy also. Especially if you like warm and kind of cozy scents. This to me is a very cozy, warm sweater weather scent. And it does pull feminine. So I love this. I actually, I'm so glad. Blind buying is risky, but I feel like this was a safe blind buy for me anyways. 
Okay, now let's get into one that I love for the winter time. And this is what I mean by this one is the definition of spicy. This is, sorry, let me get into it. I'm getting too excited. This is by Rado's 11th Hour. The bottle of this is so minimalistic. I got this one and the Penhaligans one at the end of last year. Um, so I'm hoping to get a lot of use out of them this year. I have fragrance everywhere right now. This one is very spicy, but this one is spicy and boozy and a little bit creamy. To me, this is intoxicating. I wouldn't say this one, 11th Hour, is necessarily a safe blind buy because I will say it's one of the spiciest fragrance I have, fragrances I have. But for like my taste, I did blind buy this and I was obsessed. This affected me the same way Angel Share affected me which says a lot because I am addicted to Angel Share. This has that same booziness. There's rum in this and there's plum and fig. And plum is like a very boozy fruit in my opinion. That note comes off boozy also like wine kind of. So it has rum and plum, which is so good. It has the fig, which gives it a little bit of like a sweetness too. But there's pepper in this. And also, I don't know what else, there's pepper? And then there's like a creaminess to it. I think that's the tonka bean or maybe the cashmere. But there's like a creaminess. So think of like a spiked, spiced eggnog. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this. It's so good. I associate this with the holidays because it has that spiciness to it. But it's also a little bit creamy. It's also a little bit boozy. This is so intoxicating but spicy. You have to like spicy scents. I love this. I love this so much. <laughs> I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say like these two to me are in the same kind of family as Angel Share. So if you're obsessed with that like I am, then I feel like these kind of match the vibe. They're not the same, but they match the vibe. But Byredo has a different kind of spiciness to it, but then it's like perfectly balanced because it's also sweet. It's also boozy. It's just delicious. It's honestly so good, but it is spicy. So I would say this one's a little bit more spicy than Angel Share. It's probably my spiciest fragrance. So that's why I'm saying you have to like a spicy scent, but it's blended so well because it is sweet and creamy also and a little bit boozy. So it's so intoxicating and I love it. I love it for the winter time. Next up, let's talk about like a winter freshie because I know freshies are more of like a summer term. And in the summer, I love like a citrus scent. Those are like my summer freshies. But this one I call a winter freshie. This is um, by Ellis Brooklyn. It's called A Prey. The bottle is gorgeous, first of all. And the reason I say this is like a freshie is because this one, where am I gonna spray this now? I have so much going on. This one is not sweet. This one is literally fresh. It's green and it's woody. This one smells so fresh. So a lot of my fragrances I describe as being warm because they make you feel like warm and cozy. This one is like a cool scent. It's like a blast of fresh air. I definitely would only wear this one in the colder months. So at the end of fall into winter, but in Canada, most of our, half of our year is winter, honestly. So, but this one is like a fresh winter scent. So you get, it's like walking through the forest you get like in the winter time you get like that fresh like wintry like cool air breeze you could smell like this earthy woodiness from the trees and then also that green freshness of like pine trees walking through like a christmas tree farm it's like that kind of vibe if you've ever smelled diptyque's eau dwell i love that this is similar minus the vanilla so diptyque's eau dwell has like the green it's like a green vanilla this is like that minus the vanilla. So it's a lot more fresh. This one definitely is, all fragrances are unisex, but this one out of all the ones I'm mentioning is the most masculine. It pulls masculine. I feel like you have to have the personality to wear this. I have a strong personality, so I like strong fragrances. But this is so fresh. There is a tiny bit of sweetness to this, but literally just a tiny bit. So I would say this leans more masculine and fresh. But I know for some people, like I love Eau Dwell, but I know for some people, Eau Dwell doesn't perform that well on them. It doesn't last that long. It doesn't project that much. So if you're someone who likes Eau Dwell or has wanted Eau Dwell, I feel like this performs very well. This is like a, I'm not going to say beast mode, but it definitely projects. You can definitely smell it. It lasts. Um, 
So I feel like if you mixed this with a vanilla fragrance, like Vanilla 28 by Kayali, then you would get a better performing version, like your own Eau Dwell, you know? So, but even on its own, I love this. I love how fresh it is. I love that like woody, green, fresh vibe. Oh, it's so good. It definitely screams winter. And I kind of like that it's not that sweet because then when I don't, when I just want to smell fresh, maybe like during the day, I love this. I, I actually, I was shocked by how much I love this. I bought this last year during the Sephora sale because I had a few of like the mini travel ones, like the samples that you get. And I ran through them. I was so obsessed with it. So I got this and a travel spray because I love it as like a winter fresh scent. And like I said, sometimes I do mix it with a vanilla, but I love it on its own also. It pulls masculine, so just know that going into it. But if you're someone who loves like a fresh, like pine, like cedar forest, scent i feel like you would love this and on a man i would love this okay last but not least so for those of you that have been here for a while you know i don't love floral scents especially if it's just like a straight up floral scent those give me a headache and they're not really my vibe they don't match my personality but i included one fall floral because i am obsessed with this if you like Givenchy's l'entredi that's the type of floral that matches my vibe because that's sweet it's spicy it's floral so it's feminine but it's like a little edgy this one gives me the same vibe because i do love Givenchy's l'entredi i know it's not new by any means but i'm still obsessed with it and that per that performs like a beast so this is bdk's passe soir this is what this bottle looks like this is so oh, this this does things to me this is so good let me just smell her This is a spicy floor, white floral. This has ginger, it has pepper, so it gives it that spiciness. I love ginger as a note. And then you get a white floral, but because it's mixed with like this sweetness and this spiciness, I feel like it's edgy. Yes, it's feminine, but it's edgy. And then it has like a citrus note. I forget what the actual citrus note is, but it gives the same vibe as like an orange citrus note. Which to me, I know some people associate like orange and citrus with summer, but I also associate orange with winter because like for example, some people would like slice up oranges, dry them out and add them to their garland. And then also you add oranges to things like mulled wine. So I think orange like that, that citrus note, I also associate with winter time just because I don't know. And you would also use oranges and poke cloves into them. And that's like a Christmas scent. So I associate orange with Christmas time also. Not that this smells like Christmas, but I'm saying it's, I associate orange with winter, not just summer. This scent is spicy. It's creamy. It's sweet. It's floral. It's a little bit of everything. And this is so addicting. If you're someone who likes like a spicy floral with a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of like citrus, this is like a little bit of everything. So yes, it's a floral fragrance, but I'm not a huge floral fragrance person. I feel like this is a perfect fall floral scent it gives you everything that you would want if you like sweet and um spicy profile like i do i'm obsessed with that this is that but yet with that little feminine floral note with that spicy edginess with this creamy sweetness with that little bit of citrus this is so addicting so intoxicating and this on me performs like a beast some of the other BDK perfumes that I have, some of the other BDK perfumes <laughs> that I have, um, I'm addicted to them, but they don't perform the best, but I still wear them because I love the scents. This one, out of all of them, I feel like it performs so well. I only need a couple sprays of this, so it looks like I haven't even touched it. You only need a couple sprays, so it literally looks like I didn't even touch it, but two sprays and this projects and this performs and every time I've worn this I've got complimented on it and usually by men I don't know what it is but I feel like men love this scent I love this scent it is so addicting and I don't even like florals that much but I feel like this gives me like everything that I would want from a floral it's like everything in one and I'm addicted to it I'm so obsessed with it I use it sparingly because it's expensive but luckily you don't need too much for it to like project and last and for people to smell you because it leaves a trail. 
Anyways, those are all of the fall and winter fragrances that I'm excited to wear this year. If you guys ever have any suggestions, please leave them down below because I always like to hear suggestions based on like what I like. So if you have any recommendations, leave them down below. Check me out on my other socials. They're always linked down below. Thank you guys so much for coming back. I'm going to be better. I'm going to post more frequently, but I appreciate your patience. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.